Uh, very good morning to all of you. Uh, today my plan of discussion actually is very, very interactive. We want to talk about tree traversal for binary tree. Then we talk about array to tree to tree array and then we discuss about binary search tree. We talk about heap and its operation and do some exercise. So let us begin our discussion with the tree traversal. Uh, you can see practically, uh, you know, when we talk about tree traversal, we mean that how we travel to different uh, uh, nodes from left to right to node. And you start with, uh, we have three types of traversal. What we say is the in order traversal. And you have uh, in order means we actually travel to left node right. We have pre order traversal. Pre order means we go to node first, then left, then right. And we have post order traversal means we go to left, right, and node. Now, this is an example case and which is very, very important for you to understand. Look at this tree. We have a root A, and then we have different charts. It's a binary tree. And you consider, if you look at subtree, this is one subtree, this is the second subtree, this is third, and this is the fourth subtree. So, all together, you have four subtree in this tree. And if you look at the property of the tree, in terms of its uh, size is eight, because the number of node is eight, height is three, the highest part is three. And then you talk about its degree is two, you talk about its depth is 3 and so on and there are leaf nodes also so if you take a look I will start with the traversal understanding is if I want to go for in order traversal if you see here in order traversal is left node and right so look at this tree now we are in this tree so I want to start with the left so left this first left subtree which is G and then the left subtree is K so how you are starting G K then you know left left then node and right so G K then node coming is B H and right is L and then finally you have again node because left node right A then D and then P. So if you see here, this traversal is exactly G K B H L A D P. So take a look. Again, we we are going for pre-order now. That means we want to do left. We want to do node left and right. So starting with node. So node. Then you go to node again because you are going for node then you are actually going for node again then left so what happens a b h g k l so these are all actually left you can have, you understand node left and then finally right and then you are having d and p so you look at here exactly this a b g h k l d p so take a look at it here again a we said A, B, G, H. So see here, A, B, G, H. Because you're talking about note, note, left, then right, then left, right. So what happens here? Note, A, B, then note, left. Then again, note left and then right so what happens a b g h k l look at the sequence note note left note left right so see here a b g h k l so a b g h k l and then finally d and p so pre-order traversal is actually like this and if you see here pre-order traversal you have seen now go into post order means left no left right and not so look at this tree now left 
we always consider the subtree, you remember that. This is another subtree. Left, left, right, then nod. So what happens? G, K, L, H, B. H, B. So you finish this two subtree. And now you come into the leftmost subtree. Here there is no left, there is right. So P, D, A. See how it is? G, K, L, H, G, P, D, A. So in this case, this root node is at the end. In case of pre post order, this root node is at the end. In case of pre order, root node is at the beginning. In case of in order, root, root node is at the somewhere in between. So in, in this case of tree traversal, you are you want to make it simple, you consider subtree, it helps you a lot and if you consider subtree, you can easily traverse in a tree. Alright, so I will give you an exercise. Before that, uh, let's talk about array to tree to array. This is an array, consider this is a tree, we have 3, 7, 5, 6, then there is one node which I missed out purposely, there is no node, then we have 4 and 8. So if I convert this, I'm actually traveling this tree like breakfast search. That means I'm actually traveling across the nodes and I write them into respective array elements 3, 7, 5, 0, 1, 2, then 6, 3, then location is empty. Why? Because there is no node here and 4 and 8. Is that make sense? Yes. I'm sure you understand this very interestingly. And talking about an exercise, I want to give you this as an exercise. Uh, consider this is a tree. You are going to uh, find out its size, depth, height and degree. And you travel across this tree. Travel across this tree and then uh, find out uh, the traversal for in-order traversal, then pre-order traversal and post-order traversal. So, you understand the size of this tree is actually the number of nodes that you have in this tree, right? All right, so I'm sure you it's very interesting, but I can review and when we meet we discuss. Yeah, excellent. So we just finished two topic here and again telling you the tree is very interesting. Traversal is much more interesting, but traversal is very easy. So please remember traverse using the concept of subtree. Yeah. All right, so we discuss again. Yeah, wish you all the best. We, we, we meet and discuss. But again, let me repeat it. Tree is a fantastic data structure, is a nonlinear data structure. We can actually assign node and this node we are traveling to do certain calculation at each node. And um, uh, I hope this answers your questions. We will actually have a next discussions, much more interesting. So what this exercise, when you solve it, um, let me tell you what is the size. The size is 3, 2, 5, 6, 7 and 3, 10. So size is 10. What is the depth? Depth is the longest path from root to leaf. So 1, 2, 3. So depth is 3. Height, if we height, consider height means leaf to root, the longest path. 1, 2, 3. So height is 3. 1, 2, 3. Height is 3. And then what is the degree? Degree is the number of subtree that you have under the root of the tree. So you have degrees too. If you consider one of them is the in order traversal. How do you do it? In order means left node right. So come to the lowest subtree. You see left, then node and then right, then node right, then node. Then again left node right. So this node right, then left this subtree is the lowest subtree so you come here how do you write left node right t c v n d x and then after that you go into q and then this subtree what do you say left node right so e s r is that clear so i hope you do the exercise and we discuss thank you thank you so much